Make me feel high when I feel low Take away my pain, make it no more Make me feel good all over Take over my body if you want to You can change my life Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So today's video is going to be a get ready with me This is my new hair I absolutely love it It's so much shorter um, I cut like 4 inches off I'll like move the camera down Sorry, it's so shaky four inches off my hair so my, my hair is very healthy. I haven't had my hair done in a while and when I do I just touch up the highlights and stuff but I actually really wanted to go more blonde. But I cut my hair, I thinned it out because it's so heavy and thick and it was so dead and I wasn't doing it because there's just so much to handle but now it's so like, it took me literally less than five minutes to flat iron my hair. Off work until the 30th. I just had surgery which really is crazy because it's already over and like I'm healing and it's such an amazing thing because I actually got my gallbladder taken out a week ago on Thursday, which today is Sunday. So Thursday was a week I had it out. So I've been out for a while, um, but I was obviously in a lot of pain. But now I just have scars, stitches, and glue over the actual incision itself. I know that's like really TMI, but now I can actually move around. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm healing, and so I wanted to sit down and film this video for you guys. So I did just post my support haul. I edited that a couple days ago and finally uploaded it. I've had really bad internet like reception around here. Good, so I apologize for that. But um, I did film that and edit it for you guys. So make sure you guys check that video out. I'm sure it is up before this one. And hopefully I'll get this one up and then I can film another video. I'm thinking about doing either a favorites video or a products I've used up because I have a whole bag of stuff that I've used up and I wanted to sit down and you know talk about all the products that I like because I know that you guys do like products I've used up videos. I filmed them a couple times on my channel but yeah that was just a little update. I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in my everyday makeup routine. So if you guys are wondering why these lashes are fuller than these, these are half of my eyelash extensions I had on way before surgery and they just are starting to come off and I haven't had them filled because I haven't been able to drive. So today's like the first day I get to drive which I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, so there are like there's more on this eye than there is on this eye. There's only like three, but there's like ten on this eye. So apologize for that if it bothers you. My bad. I'm gonna get some false lashes today to kind of go over them until I can um, have my appointment for a fill on my eyelash extension. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just did a voice over and just put some music in there as well. I didn't want to sit down and talk for so long about me getting ready, so that's why I just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update and now I'm going right into the video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see how to get this makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off with Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. I have yet to try out a high-end one. I just like to moisturize my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Love this stuff. And then I'm mixing my Makeup Forever Foundation in the color Y123, I believe. And then my Medium Light um, Naked Skin Concealer. My two favorite combinations right now. They match my skin very well. The concealer is very under eye brightening and then the foundation just matches my actual skin tone so perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This one looks ex insanely disgusting so I actually bought another one the other day at Ulta. So in my next video I won't have such a dirty beauty sponge. But I actually haven't used my Beauty Blender in uh, like such a long time. Like since I bought this, I think I like this one better since it has like that flat angled part so it makes it easier to do foundation. So I'm moving on to powder. I'm finally trying out a Sephora brand makeup product. I don't really remember what shade this powder is in, but I absolutely love how soft it is on my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that with an e.l.f. Um, powder brush and then I'm taking my Anastasia contour kit and I'm just using the white highlighting shade underneath my eyes which I really need to get another palette or just um, new pans because I've ran out and that is my favorite to put underneath my eyes and then I'm taking my IT Cosmetics um, little palette they sent me a while back not sure what it's called but it's like a little disc and I really like the highlighting shade and the contour shade in here so I'm contouring my face right now just bronzing up the skin um, I've absolutely loved this bronzer because it's so like fair. It's not like really muddy. It's not dark um, It's just like my perfect shade for bronzer So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that lightly and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to highlighter I absolutely love when I first put on highlighter on my face I just feel like a glowing goddess, but I'm using champagne pop from Becca and you know girl You just have to highlight your whole face like I'm doing my nose my cupid's bow I go over my actual highlight on 
my upper cheek like so much throughout this video because I'm just like, mm, that's not enough. But I absolutely love this highlighter. And then whatever's left on the brush, I go ahead and kind of clean up underneath my contour. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my brows. Um, I'm using the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in medium brown. And then I'm kind of sculpting out my brows with the same concealer, the Naked Skin one, just to kind of sharpen up my brows to make them look more like crisp. Um, and then I'm going to be adding some highlight. You know, you never have enough highlight. Um, I'm actually highlighting underneath my brow. And then I'm moving on to my favorite, one of my palettes I've been using a lot lately is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And I'm using these two brown shades and I'm using the Anastasia, oh, take that back. I'm actually using the um, brush from the Naked 3 palette. And I love the blending side of this brush. So I'm just blending those colors into my crease. Using windshield wiper motions, I use those two brown shades like literally every day. Just because it's super simple, easy, you can't really mess it up. You just build up the color in the crease and it looks really good with my eye color. Um, so like I said in the beginning of this video, you can tell that I have not, I don't have lashes on the other eye. So I know it looks funny, but I just got my lashes done. So next time in my video, you'll see me having lashes. But I intensified this look by adding a little bit more um, of a darker brown. And then I highlighted underneath my brows some more and I'm just applying a little bit of mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then I'm finishing off the look with a Too Faced Matte Liquid Lipstick in Chihula, I think is what it's called. So this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I'll have some new tutorials coming up soon. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!